Shalom royalty, it's Ellie here. Uh, I know I kind of look out of it, because I am. I had a lot uh, go on. I went to Chicago to go visit my son's family for my sister-in-law's graduation. And, you know, everything was cool. I'm really glad we got to see the family and everything. My son, you know, got to spend time with everybody. I hope y'all can hear me. I don't have my microphone with me right now. But, um, serious stuff going on. So, I'm not going to be fake with y'all. I'd be like, you know, everything's perfect. Um, I ain't got no type of situation going on you know god puts his strongest through you know the toughest situations because only they can handle it and that's why we have grace and mercy you know he didn't say certain things when he sent yeshua back just so you know we can feel some type of way and feel safe no he made sure that we were safe Is this lit though? All right, so you know, it be real, y'all. It be real, cause spiritual warfare always manifests into the physical, and then you got physical warfare, and nobody really wants to talk about you know how stuff happens over time and in the spirit plane, cause you know time and space doesn't exist past this dimension. Like, God don't operate on, he don't have to look at his watch and be like, what time is it? That's what we got to do because we don't be, we're not omnipotent. We're not omniscient. I think that's the other word that people use. Uh, I'm not sure if that one's in the Bible, but I know omnipotent. Yeah. He everywhere, all the time. He created everything. So his sense of everything is in everything. I mean, what, what else you want me to say? Y'all get this. Y'all know this. No, we're going through it right now. We're going through it right now. That's all I can say, really. Somebody uh, told me one time on Instagram that uh, blacks block your throat chakra. I mean, I don't know how I feel about that. Smoking in general, probably, yeah, like, I, I feel that. I just don't know, like, about these specifically. Like, a lot of us smoke, whether you smoke, whether it's black and milds, or you smoke cigarettes, you smoke weed, you smoke whatever you decide to smoke, whatever your drug of choice is, it be like that. It really just be like that. You know, like I said, grace and mercy. And also, let's talk about something. My mother-in-law gave me this. She gave me a sticker that says, Seek the Lord. Spend time with the Lord. Walk with the Lord. What is so hard about that, y'all? I'm reading Genesis right now. I think it's, um, don't quote me on exactly the chapter, but I think it's 14, somewhere around there. And it was like around the time God's, you know, talk about Sodom and stuff. Before we even get there. Tell me how Abraham set up his tent, right? And God met him in his tent. Like, why don't we talk about scriptures like that? He set up his place to meet the Lord. And he came. He was like, what's up, Abraham? Let's have a conversation. Because that was what happened. They were going back and forth about this topic. He had to, Abraham was literally like, hey, Lord, you know, I understand I feel you because I know the situation not right. I feel you. But if I can ask, if I can ask, can I, you know, you know, and he laid down a few different options and God was cool. He was cool. He was cool with what he had to say. He already knew what was up, but he was cool with Abraham. Like, you know. Why is it that is weird to have conversations with the Most High God? Where are you getting your information from? Because, you know, we can be in the sun all day. We can talk to the ancestors all day. But I'm over here studying my ancestors to see what they did. 
the ancestors are not the answer. They just give you guidance and wisdom however they can. The truth is, what's your relationship with God like? I know not everybody believes in Christ. That's what I believe. That's my homie. You know, that's my brother. He's literally our brother, y'all. Like, get that through your head. That Yeshua is our brother. Okay? So he came down here. That's why it's the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, Holy Spirit. When you get that, you know, people use the word Trinity. I don't know if that's in the Bible, but people use that just to understand those three concepts. You have the Father. You have the Son, which are both masculine. And you have the Holy Spirit, which is the comforter, that motherly type energy. You know, that feminine energy where it's not like, you know, a man laying down the law is somebody who is going to console you. It's just different. It's not like less or better. It's just different. So. You ain't really got to stress about nothing. And I understand sometimes stress happens, and that's why, you know, it's like your drug of choice. It'd be like that here on Earth. Yo, a lot of us really be going through hell, like for real. For real, for real. But the Bible says, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Ain't no fear in me. I don't fear. I don't. The Word also says... I don't know this word by word, but basically, uh, it's like if a man chooses to save his own life, then, you know, that's not good. In the context that they were talking about it, that's not good. If you're willing to do anything to save your life here on earth, then what's that to say about your soul? Like, you should be trying to save your soul, not your life, because being human is temporary. The wages of sin is death. We all sin, so we're going to die. The only person who didn't die was Enoch. Okay? Even Jesus died. He came back, though. That don't happen for everybody. It don't happen for everybody in the same way that it happened for Jesus. And I say Jesus, you know, because that's what we were all taught. I was so upset earlier, or last night, because I saw this um, YouTube clip. I didn't watch the whole thing, but they were saying, like, Jesus here in the flesh, and it was a white dude, and they had, like, the little face app thing of him, like, breathing or whatever. He was real pale. He looked like he just got beat up and put on the cross or whatever. Then he came back as a ghost, and he looked like a ghost, even though he was a man. And I'm like, I'm so t sick and tired of that image. I'm sick and tired of that image, because that's where this whole, you know, misconception of Jesus came from. Because when I say Yeshua, you know who I'm talking about. When I say Jesus, folks get confused. And that's been the problem for a long time. That's been the problem for a long time. And folks don't want to address that. That's my biggest thing, you know. I feel you Gentiles. I feel you. And if you're coming to the kingdom, that's beautiful. But y'all got to start pushing this narrative of a white messiah. Because it's not biblically accurate. You're actually blaspheming at that point when you continue to push this narrative of somebody who is in my complexion or darker being the Messiah. You're geographically incorrect and you're biblically incorrect. Y'all don't even got his skin color right. I'm not even saying he's got to be black. I'm saying y'all don't have him correct at all. And y'all know this has been historically documented and you still push the narrative. That's an issue. It's not just an issue that I have personally. I have an issue with people taking history and messing it up. And that's involved in religion. So you're taking people's spiritual lives and messing it up. I don't like that. I don't like that. I'm pretty sure the Most High agrees with me. He doesn't like it either. In fact, he hates it. It's an abomination, if I'm correct, biblically. So, everybody get your tents. Spend some time with the Most High. Uh, a lot of us who smoke, sometimes that's when we talk to God. It's just how it is. 
It's not that we're using the smoke to talk to him. It's just we're using the smoke for our physical bodies to calm down and get in the space to talk to him. Meditating and stuff helps, but like when you're going through a situation right then and there, you can, yes, call on him. Be like, Lord, help me in that moment. And then light up right after. I'm not encouraging it. I'm just saying that's how it be sometimes. It's just how it is. So, you know, I hope y'all are doing well, though. Because I'm good, you know, despite anything that may have happened this weekend in the past few days. I'm good. Because I know God got me. When you walk with the Lord and you seek the Lord. I mean, you're like, what? When you spend time with the Lord, like, yo, it just be lit. For real. It's a thing, too. You got Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. In the fire, where that fire killed the enemy's soldiers. The fire hurt the enemy. It did not hurt the righteous. Whether you believe, you know, the Bible is a history book or not, if you're not learning from it and how to live your life, I don't know what you're doing. I don't know what you're doing. Don't go to church no more if you're not going to spend your time with the Lord. The church is not where the Lord lives and resides. He resides in you. You have to make that extra space for him. Actually, you were born with this space. You need to take out that other crap that you fill that space in with. Like People be like, I'm broken and there's no way to fix me. Okay, fill the cracks with the Holy Spirit. Like Seek the Lord because he'll fix all that. Whether it's fixed how you want it to be fixed or not, it don't matter. It's not about what you want. It's about what's righteous. And he'll make that happen for you. It's all love, though. God is love. It is what it is. All right, well, that's that's gonna be it for me today. Um, I'm gonna get on here and start doing, you know, my daily videos. At my dog just walking here. Um, back up again. I just might need some time. Uh, just so you guys are aware, just some stuff. I said I had the trip, visit my family and stuff. So that, uh, catching up with them, you know, helping out when I can, that sort of thing. Then I got a family that I've been knowing for a long time. We just had two deaths happen. Um, right before I went to go see my in-laws. And so, you know, getting stuff ready for the funeral and everything like that. You know that uh that that hood talk that people be doing, you know that that ghetto stuff like it, it'd be real cool to talk about seeing about you know talk your shit or whatever, but like this ain't what you want for real. This is it's not what you want for real. A lot of folks are really know like I didn't know what I was getting myself into. I know I'm going through it for a reason though. And God's revealing that to me, like, by the minute at some points. Like, it'll be like, you know, every other day or something, I'll get some sort of information. But he been moving fast. He's been moving quick. And it's quick to me. It's not quick to him. He knows everything happens in divine timing. He's in control of all of that, so it don't even matter. And so, you know, it is what it is. is what it is man y'all pray for me you know continue to lift up those who are whether they're struggling going through a situation or just trying because some people they don't really be going through issues they'd be trying and like you know stuff don't be working out there the way that they wanted to or you know the way that they planned it and they're stressed out about that so make sure you pray for those people too 
everybody going through something right now. I don't care who you are. I don't care your economic status. This isn't a um, Jews versus Gentiles thing. Everybody going through something right now. Everybody. And I understand that. So I'm not going to, uh, like, you know, rush into an issue. Don't rush into an issue with somebody. What's that other scripture? It's like, like a man with a loose tongue or loose lips, yeah, it's, it's not good. Like, don't don't quote me on this. But I know a quiet answer turneth away wrath. I know that one. That's not the one I'm talking about, though. This is a different one. And basically, when you keep, you know, your peace and you don't say anything, that's good. Sometimes you don't need to say anything. Or you don't need to say as much as you thought you needed to say. Holy Spirit intervenes. Like, you'll be saying something, and then Holy Spirit will be like, hold back. And you'll be like, okay. Then you see why later. Yep. So, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and go. Uh, I will talk to you all in the next one. Shalom royalty. Y'all have a blessed day. I love you.